All right, guys. Uh, I was just going to do a quick uh, tabletop gear review. Going to do some on uh, headlamps. So let me readjust the camera, and I'll get right with you. All right, as you can see, I got uh, three different headlamps here in front of you. Um, these two are both made by Energizer. Um, this one and this one, as you can see, they're very similarly made. Um, they have the uh, both have a high beam. A uh, this one has a low beam. And then on the separate button, it has red lights. This one here has the red lights and the low beam. Um, this one I have had uh, the shortest amount of time, and as you can tell, when I push the button, sometimes it doesn't do what it's supposed to, and I have to hold the button, and it flashes on red. When used to, you click the button, and it just hit red. So on that last backpacking trip we took, and I took the young boys on, on the uh, intro to bushcraft, um, this camp, this, uh, this flashlight stopped working on me properly. Um, there was times while I was out there and I was needing to use it and I couldn't even get the light to come on. So uh, this one, um, I had quite a long time. You can see where I've readjusted the um, elastic because it's gotten worn out and I've taped it up, tied knots in it, to try to make it function a little better but both of these are fairly heavy um, the lumens I don't rem recall what the lumens are and they're not water resistant which is why I believe this one had the issue because of that storm we were in on that last trip so uh, Christmas time here and I uh, got a little extra money thought it was time to upgrade so the headlamp I got now is the Princeton Tech Sync it got the uh, editor's choice from Backpacker 2015. Um, as you can see here, it's uh, made in the USA. It has 90 lumens, five different modes. It is water resistant, and you can have a hybrid um, beam going on. So when you get the uh, the pack, it has the headlamp attached there. And on the back side, it has the the elastic for the strap and the batteries. And you see it has all this uh, other information on there. If you uh, take a look here at the headlamp. Alright, if you take a look at the headlamp here, you can see the light setup is quite a bit different from the other ones. It has that one high beam right in the middle and then the uh, lower LEDs on both sides. Um, and it has two red, two of the low beam LEDs and the brighter high beam. This one has the, the high beam, the one red right there in the center, and the one low beam. Uh, if you look also over here on the top, you have a the switch. You can select it all the way up and roll it to where it says lock. And that way it doesn't accidentally come on. And then you have red. You click that and the red light comes on. Then you have the off, then it goes to white, which is the low beam, and then you can click it to the high beam, and then you can rotate it forward and it has the high beam and the low beam together. And so, uh, so then that makes the difference. So the high beam is going to get that 90 lumens and reach out there, and the low beam is going to get the little closer. This is where it gets on the outside of the box where it says that it has a hybrid beam because you have the, the high beam is the one that reaches out that further distance and that low beam LED is the one that's going to get the closer. It's similar to having like your headlights on with the floodlights. So uh, I'm going to shut the light off, adjust the camera, and we'll see what it looks like in the dark. All right, so there is the low beam. Let's go back to the red. See, there's red, and this is a standard garage, you know, 23 to 25 foot from where I'm standing at my workbench to that garage door. Then there's the low beam, then here's the high beam, and then that's a high beam by itself, and that's high beam with the floods. So um, there's high beam by itself. There's just the low by themselves. It's the low on a dimmer setting. Off, red, locked. 
So you can see the five different positions there. The only, uh, as you can see, it's pretty bright, pretty bright setup. I got plenty of uh, field of view. Kind of lights up my whole garage. <coughs> um, so, um, one of the downfalls I noticed that I would have liked would uh, be having a strobe feature for like an SOS or just a, a strobe to get you a little more signal. Um, but this uh, paid 29 bucks for it, 30 bucks at uh, Academy. And it's uh, much lighter in weight than <coughs> the other headlamps that I've had in the past. It is water resistant. And, uh, and I went ahead and went with the one that has the, the bright orange and the white. <coughs> that way you drop it, you'll be able to see it pretty good um, out on the ground. Um, I'm not going to put this thing in water and freeze it and I'm not going to throw it around because honestly that is not what I'm going to be doing with it while I'm out in the woods. Uh, it's going to go on my head and when it's not on my head it's going to go in a bag I'm going to make for it. So just wanted to uh, kind of show you what's going on here, how well the lighting is and uh, you know is it worth buying. Um, also if you take a look here on the pack, um, well, maybe it's not, oh yeah, it has a, uh, a five-year uh, warranty, um, which I thought was uh, pretty cool. And also, I mean, you can flip this thing and wear it to where you can put the, um, <coughs> the selector switch on either side of your head. Um, it doesn't necessarily matter um, whether the words are on top or not, it's still going to work. Um, also... Um, give me a second I'll go turn the light back on. Alright, also what you can do with this is, uh, as you can see, is you can adjust up and down. So you can grab this and adjust it up and down, different angles. So depending on how you're walking or what you're trying to do, I can put it straight down and have it shining right in front of me. So say if I'm uh, reading or something like that, you know, I got it right there in front of me, reading a map, whatever. Or if I'm walking, uh, you know, red light, or walking the trail, I can put it directly in front of me, or I can put it a little further out. You know, you can adjust it. It has tons of different adjusting uh, positions to adjust. So, uh, as you can see, that's the lens straight forward, rotating it. That's all the way down, full 90. And then rotating it all the way up, and another full 90 all the way up. I don't necessarily see where you're ever going to need that, but it can do it. Um, also the elastic band, really good. Uh, there's that bright orange I was showing you, so it would make it quite visible if you drop it on the ground. So uh, there's a little bit of a, a closer look of the um, Princeton Tech Sync, the uh, um, headlamp that got the uh, Back Backpacker's Choice Award of 2015. So uh, maybe this is a headline for you, maybe it's one you'll like, and uh, maybe this review helped. Thanks for watching. God bless.